could harassment be happening at your workplace? This occurs when someone demonstrates behaviours that cause harassment, alarm or distress to another party, such as verbal or non-verbal threats and abuse, sexual harassment, cyberbullying and stalking. Perpetrators or victims of workplace harassment can involve staff or external parties such as customers, clients or members of the public. Workplace harassment can occur not only in the confines of the workplace itself, but at external venues like company events, dinners or business trips. So how are individuals protected against harassment at the workplace? There are criminal and civil legislation in place to protect individuals against harassment as well as those that hold employers liable for the safety of their staff at work. The Protection from Harassment Act, or POHA, offers specific protection against harassment and unlawful stalking through the use of criminal sanctions and civil remedies. As for certain other acts, they could constitute offences under the Penal Code, for instance, the outrage of modesty. Although the Penal Code and the POHA provide a means for victims to seek redress, this can only occur after an incident has happened. Employers owe a duty of care to their employees to ensure a safe work environment. When a company comes to know of allegations of harassment, it has to tread very sensitively in such cases. It needs to investigate into the allegations, comply with its internal policies and procedures, while ensuring that all parties are given an opportunity to be heard. Employers are encouraged to develop and implement measures to manage harassment at the workplace. An effective harassment policy should be easily communicated, applicable company-wide, and leave no room for misinterpretation. It should be made clear that the harassment of any form will not be tolerated. It's important for employers to set common core values to guide the behavior of employees. Some common core values should include respecting individuals' personal values and beliefs, putting people at the heart of what we do, ensuring that they do not feel intimidated at work, standing up against workplace harassment, providing support for fellow colleagues, and building awareness of the cultural norms and sensitivities in an increasingly diverse workplace. Workplace harassment not only affects the morale of workers, but also the productivity of the organisations. Victims of workplace abuse and harassment not only suffers from traumatic experience, but also affected by emotional, psychological and physical harm. Union members may approach their unions for help and assistance if they are faced with workplace abuse. TAFAB advocates fair and progressive employment practices and together with the tripartite partners has put in place resources on the prevention of workplace harassment. If you face workplace harassment, please approach TAFAP who will assist you and provide advice on the appropriate actions you can take and the avenues for support. At the same time, you're advised to make a police report for possible violations under the Protection from Harassment Act, or POHA. Employers can also approach TAFAP to seek assistance and advice regarding measures to put in place to prevent or manage workplace harassment, so as to ensure the safety and well-being of their employees. Please visit tafap.sg for more information and the following resources.